Hello everyone, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy amplifier using the LM386 op amp. For this project, you'll need a speaker with some leads attached to plug into the breadboard. Also, you'll need the male end of some headphones with wires attached to plug into the breadboard. Here we have the LM386 chip, a 220 UF capacitor, a 47 NF capacitor, and a 10 ohm resistor. I also have three cables and a 1000 UF capacitor and my breadboard test box. First, let's take a look at the pinout for the LM386 op amp. On the left, we have pins one through four, starting at the top and going down. One, two, three, four. On the right, we have pins 5 through 8, starting at the bottom and going up, 5, 6, 7, 8. You'll notice that I've drawn a notch and a circle here. Most op amps will have some kind of marking at the top to let you know where the one pin is. Now, let's take a look at the schematic. You'll notice that pins number 1, 7, and 8 are missing because they won't be needed for this demonstration. Here at the top you can see a small notch. So we know that this is pin number one. Now I'm going to place this in the breadboard. The next thing we'll do is we'll start with our first pin that we're going to use, which is pin number two. As we can see from our schematic, pin number two goes to ground. So I plug the cable into pin number two and then into my negative rail. Next, we can see that pin number three is the input. So we'll plug the positive from our headphone jack cable into pin number three. And the negative will plug into ground. Next, we can see pin number four goes to ground. So we'll plug this cable into pin number four, and then over here to ground. First, we have our 47 NF capacitor, which goes into a 10 ohm resistor, which goes into ground. So I'm going to start with our 47 NF capacitor, and I'm going to plug it in to pin number five. One of the leads is now plugged into pin number five. The other lead is plugged into an empty rail. This is where we're going to plug our 10 ohm resistor into. So now, just like the schematic, you can see 5 goes to the 47 NF capacitor, which goes to this rail here, which has the 10 ohm resistor, which goes to ground. Now it's time to plug in our 220 UF capacitor. This capacitor is an electrolytic capacitor, so it's polarized, meaning it has a positive leg and a negative leg. It is easy to identify the negative leg because there's a stripe on the capacitor. Before I plug the capacitor into the breadboard, I'm going to bend the positive leg out this way. That way I have a little more room. And now I'm going to plug the positive leg of the 220 UF capacitor into the rail that has pin number five. And the negative leg will go into an open rail. Now we can attach our speaker. I just need to plug the positive terminal from the speaker into the same rail that the negative leg of the 220 UF capacitor is plugged into. And I can just plug the negative terminal from the speaker into ground. Now we're moving on to the number six pin. All I need to do is plug a wire into the rail that the number six pin is in and attach it to the power supply. And our amplifier is finished. This amplifier will work with a nine volt battery, but today I'm using a nine volt DC power supply.
That doesn't sound good. This is where the 1000 UF capacitor comes into play. If I were using a 9 volt battery, I may not need this. But because I'm using a power supply, sometimes power supplies are noisy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump this 1000 UF capacitor from the positive to the negative on my power rail. This will help filter out some of the unwanted sounds coming from the power supply. See, that's much better. And it will get only get better once I plug in this. At this point, I can control the volume using the device that I have the amp plugged into. Tune in next time and I'll show you how to add a volume knob and a gain knob. Thanks for watching.